Praise the Lord, everyone. Um, welcome to the God Seller 7 and Time Prophecy channel. And yes, 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 I'm back again with a prophecy. Um, and I think these are uh, Brother Dan's prophecies because he has a block. So join me in the King James Version Bible. I'm going to be in the book of Jeremiah, um, chapter uh, 50. And I think I'm going to skip around to three, but uh, three, three different, what, wait, three different verses, yes, and I'll tell you what they are. I start out with um, chapter 50, verse 3. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart both man and beast. Skip down now to 13. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Every one that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at the at all her plagues. Yep, we're at those plagues. Skip now down to 15. Shout against her round about. She hath given her hand, her fornications, I'm sorry, her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down, and it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she hath done do unto her. Whoa. Okay, again, um, I'm pretty sure, like I said, because Brother Dan has a block, I'm getting his. And this has happened before several years ago. So I got this earlier today. Um, today is um, July 3rd, 2021. Daughter, speak to the leaders and military of Babylon, the United States of America. You have become complacent while you sleep. Your enemies have worked day and night on war machines, airplanes, tanks, and weapons. New technology and deadly concoctions and biological weapons. They have tested them in secret locations away from prying eyes. You have many enemies, some claiming to be your friend. They see your weaknesses. They will strike and seize. You have not secured your borders. After being warned by my prophets and messengers, you will fall. It is written, in one hour, you will be no more. You are no longer superior. You have become lazy and reckless. You have let your cities, highways, and transportation systems fall into decay. You have wasted your riches and funded your enemies. Now you will reap what you have sown. Judgment has been pronounced over your nation for not repenting of your great sins, perversions, and slaughter of the innocents in the womb. Here we go here. The king of the north is prepared to strike. Yep. Several of them saying the same thing. The United States of America is no longer I'm going to say, under God. We threw him out of everything. Threw him out of the schools. Um, threw, him, threw him out of our family. Threw him out of everything. And it appears that we've replaced his, his laws with perversions. And it says in there, in another prophecy I have, that um, the, the leaders of the country signed into um, laws and rules, or whatever they want to call them, things to hide the perversions and cover them up. We did it. He's not happy. He's not going to let this slide. I said it before. This is 4th of July. America's greatest sin at this point is abortion. How many babies have been slaughtered in, in, in the womb? How many? The blood, the land is soaked with blood. He's not going to let this go on. It's going to stop. I probably have, I'm going to take a guess, 300 prophecy messages talking about Babylon, the United States. Uh, it was revealed that that's who it is. Mystery Babylon, it's the United States, talking about how we're going to get flattened, we're going to get burned, there's going to be one strike after another, one disaster after another, um, one weather judgment after another is coming. Do you see it? Put on the news and look at it. I was watching the heat. I was like, whoa. I told my granddaughter, you make sure you're good. Just take a step out on the balcony. It's like 100 degrees out there. Do you want to go to hell forever? And I don't care if they like it. I say it straight up. Think about eternity in that beating, blasting heat. Now's the time to turn from your sinful ways, get yourself straightened out, and do it. 
don't keep going back to the old things, uh, the old sins that you were in. I see things out there, people asking for prayer for this and that. You got to stay away from these things. Shut your TV off if that's where it is. Shut your phone off if that's where it is. Shut it off. Don't look at it. I hate doing this, but I don't have a choice. If I'm getting a prophecy like this, I know it's coming. I've seen visions and dreams of it. He said at one point in one of the prophecies, you're going to see the, the dreams and visions come true, and you're going to see what it is. Then your hair will stand up, and you'll be running around. Why do you think I run around? By the day, it's like, what are you doing? I'm running around. Look at this prophecy. What do you think I'm doing? You don't know when this is going to happen. It's been planned. What does he say? And I'm sorry I'm going on and on, but you need to hear this. This is 4th of July weekend. You don't know what's going to happen. The king of the north is prepared to strike. Uh, Brother Dan says, I have a prophecy on Vladimir uh, uh, Putin who believes uh, in his mind that he is Vladimir something. Vladimir the whatever. I'm going to try to repost that up there. I don't care if people laugh. I don't care. I'm trying to save your life. The Lord is trying to save your life. I'm speaking for him. I'm speaking on behalf of him. These are his messages. They're not mine. I'm not sitting here making these up and coming up with this. I'm hearing it. It's inspired by the Holy Spirit. He's telling us over and over and over. I have how many prophecies? I bet I have four saying your borders are not secured. You have not secured your borders. Your borders are not secured. Guess where they're going to come? They're probably already here, sitting here waiting. They're waiting for the opportunity to spring on us. Get your family safe. Have a plan. You're going to be, need to be able to protect yourself. And I don't care what anybody says. That is not murder if you're defending your family and, your, and yourself. It isn't. Think about it. Think about some other things that you normally don't think about. I was just here before I came on here praying as, as intercessor. I'm here, Lord. Um, please accept me as intercessor on behalf of this country, the United States of America. Have mercy on us. We need mercy. People are not getting it. They're not asking for mercy. They're not saying, please forgive me for this, that, and the other thing. They're not doing it. They're just humming along. Just think if today is your last breath, today is your last day. You might be going out for, to a party tonight, watching fireworks tonight or tomorrow, having a grand old time, and wham, bam, something happens, boom, and you're done. Are you prepared to spend eternity where you're going? Do you know where you're going? Think about your life. Do you know where you're going? Are you secured in your eternity? The heat wave should make everybody's hair stand up. As I was watching all the records being broken across the whole country. Why do you think this is happening? This has been, the Lord has known what was going to happen since the foundation of the world. He made everything. He knew right now there's going to be a giant heat wave. He knows the water's running out. He knows all this. He's allowing it. Do you get it? He's allowing these things to happen. He's still trying to wake you up and give you a smack in the head. That's what he's doing. Do you understand? You need to be going to heaven for eternity. Not out there in the heat, 100 degree blast of, of heat out there. Go out there and stand there for 10 minutes and see what it's like. Think about you going to hell for the rest of your eternity um, in hell. Think of that. Here's me years ago. I was probably 20. Well, I better be really good. I hate hot weather. And it's not even funny. It makes you think again. If you hate hot weather, like I do, you certainly don't want to be in hell for eternity. Think about it. This is what I did when I was a teenager. The other thing I did, and I don't probably mention this. So here I am. I'm like 18, 17. And I'm praying. I've always prayed. Ever since the Lord called me when I was about seven. I'm praying. Um, please help me with patience. I'm very impatient. Da, 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 da. I'm being 18 years old and very impatient. Please help me with patience. What I didn't understand about asking for that. And he answers all my, all my prayers. I didn't understand the magnitude of what the answer was going to be. Think. If you're praying for patience, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to wait. Here's me. Why am I waiting so long to hear an answer? I've waited for years on some of these prayers. People are saying, well, my prayer wasn't answered. Okay, you just prayed last week. 
I waited 10 years in some cases to get an answer, 10. He made me wait. He gave me patience. He made me sit there and wait. This is how he answers your prayers. You might be saying that, oh, I prayed a billion times about this, da, da, da. And the other thing, which most people don't get, is the answer to your prayer it might not be the answer you want. You're praying for something, and he already knows what you're going to get. You're praying for something, nope, that's not in their best interest. I'm going to do this. He is perfect. He's going to answer you the right way. Possibly not your way that could get you in trouble, that could cause your life to be upside down. He's going to answer it the correct way, the perfect way, the way maybe you don't like. Think about that. I've had answers to prayers I didn't like. I was like, mm, this is the answer. I better get with it. This isn't what I prayed for. Yep. After I dwelled on it and prayed about it and meditated, I realized the prayer was answered, but it wasn't the answer I wanted. Same thing with the patience. Oh dear, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Now I'm waiting and waiting sometimes for years for something. Yes, he made me sit and wait. Think about what your prayers are. Were they answered already and maybe you don't even know they were answered. Think of this stuff. All right, I'm going on. But again, this is 4th of July weekend. I said be alert. Be very observant of your surroundings, whatever you're doing, where you're going. Make sure you know where your kids are and have a plan if there's some sort of disaster or danger comes up. Do it. All right, what else did I want to mention? I'm um, thanking everyone again uh, for all the encouraging comments under the videos. And I did leave a line out of that, that prayer yesterday because I forget things with the stroke. Um, I said the prayer of Jabez that I rearranged um, for me. Um, let's see if I can remember now. Uh, bless me indeed. Um, expand my territory. Keep evil and the devil away from me and my family. Let your hand be with me always. That was it. And please don't ever let me cause anyone pain. That was it. So again, thanking everyone out there for the encouraging comments under the videos, for sharing things that made you get better. I like that. Um, translations in all the other languages and uh, let's see, especially those that help the ministry financially so we can help other people. Um, what else did I want to mention? Um, uh, remember to like and follow us on the Facebook pages. I did put them up yesterday. And um, make sure you're still subscribed to the YouTube channel. And if you're just visiting, please um, subscribe and hit the notification button. And this was cute yesterday. I did put this under the video I did yesterday. So now normally after I put the video up when I get a chance, I go, I go and look at it to make sure nothing was wrong when I uploaded it. Uh, and sometimes I see some of the um, commercials that are on there. This is really cute. Now, I ordered some things from the survival company, and I did mention on there that I did that, and someone wanted the, um, the link for the survival company that I ordered from. And guess what the advertisement was? The commercial was for the, um, the survival company that I actually bought the, um, the survival food um, from. I thought that was great. Um, the name of it was uh, Four Patriots. I bought a survival food from there. Um, and then, what was the other one I used? Uh, Safe Life uh, Defense. I think that's what it's called. Don't laugh. That's where we got bulletproof vest from. And um, what else? And the plates that go in them. Now, I can't answer how they worked. <laughs> the same thing with the food. We didn't try it yet. But I did read every single one of the reviews on there. So if I get, uh, I'm going to say, three or four bad ones, I won't buy something from the place. So that's how I usually work it. So I didn't see any bad reviews on the survival food that people use for camping um, and on the, um, the vests and that kind of stuff. I don't remember what they did. Somebody actually tested it to see how they work. So they did work. Um, what else did I want to mention? Did I cover everything? Um, a prayer. Again, Brother Dan needs the breakthrough because I'm getting worn out with his messages. Um, he needs the breakthrough. Keep him in prayer. Um, Uncle Bob still, he's in the um, nursing home. Um, keep him in prayer. He has kidney failure. I'm going to say that. Um, they're working on whatever they're doing with, um, I don't know if he's on dialysis yet. That happened to me when I had the stroke. I was ready to go on kidney failure or on kidney dialysis and I was ready to be put on a feeding tube. Just keep him in your prayers. And my friend Patty, and my friend Rosalie, and um, our friend Jean. Um, let's see who else. I don't. I don't want to miss anybody out, and, or because I can't name everyone. That's the point. Um, I better get going though. I always have a problem with something uploading. Now the other day, this is hysterical. I start to record the video. <laughs> I can't even say it. And the tripod flips over with the phone upside down on it, or my um, blogging upside down. But I ended up doing it again. But God bless you all. Uh, be safe. We love all you guys. All right. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. I think I covered everything. You just got to make sure that you, you've got yourself straightened out and ready for whatever potentially is coming. I hope this worked. 
and it didn't turn. Be safe. We love you guys.